Hello and welcome to AC 1110 Accounting Fundamentals. My name is Bob Steele. I'll be your instructor for this class. My contact information is over here where we have my name, my email address, and my phone number, as well as office hour information. So office hours are going to be online. They're going to be at Monday, 6 o'clock Pacific time at this location, a virtual location. Clearly, it's going to be a virtual office hours these are not required, but if you have questions, then you can log into the office hours at this time. It's going to be a different number because this is the conference call number. So if you log into this number, then uh, we can talk with multiple students on the same phone system. And you would call this number and then log in using this code. Then that's going to be similar to a conference call. So it's good practice to look at that. And then we have the virtual office. Once again, similar to if we had a virtual meeting meaning you can see my desktop and I can see your uh, desktop if we so choose to do that. And then we can demonstrate and show you things rather than just try to explain things verbally over the phone. This can be a very effective tool. In a online class, you probably want to get used to using this. And this is, once again, an office hours. You do not have to go to these, but uh, it would be good practice to learn to get this system down because we can also use the same information if we want to set up other times other than the office hours, as well as the fact that we have other tutors, including Amanda Edwards, who is an accounting tutor that will give you information and help beyond what I can give all the students in this class if you so choose to set up time with her. And she will use a similar system, meaning uh, she'll use this virtual office system where we can see each other's desktops and work through the information in that way. So keep that in mind as we go. Then first thing we want to do in this class is to set up the McGraw-Hill um, software, which is going to be a connect. So it's called connect. It's produced by McGraw-Hill. So terminology here throughout all your program, this shell is called Moodle Rooms. This is kind of like the syllabi. It'll be an online basically syllabi. It'll go through week by week and what you need to do week by week. This will be the ultimate area where grades will be input and show you what you need to do week by week. But some of the information we're going to do, the actual work will be in an outside software. It's called Connect and it's produced by the publisher of McGraw-Hill. McGraw is the publisher similar to publishing a book. They publish the software called McGraw-Hill, I mean called Connect by McGraw-Hill. So that's this icon up here. So this is the first thing you want to set up. I want to make sure it's working. I want to get it working on the very start of the class. And I want to see if there's any problems with it to contact me as soon as possible and get that troubleshooting down and make sure that that is input. Once that is up and running and we learn how to use this process and this system, then it'll be a lot easier as we go. But we do have to log into a lot of new software for this first setup. So how do you do that? You're going to watch this video here. That'll go through the setup process. And then you're going to click on this icon here. And once you do that, after you go through the setup process from every other time after that, once you click that icon, it will go to this here. You hit connect and then you'll be in McGraw Hill. So this will give you the information by week. Of course, we will be in week one. There's some more videos that you can look at within week one. And I highly recommend that you do so that will go over these types of problems, the different types of problems and how to maneuver through them. There's going to be some things that will be useful in terms of how do you can see answer keys, you can check your work and uh, you can you want to know how to use the this system. And so you're going to want to watch those videos and make sure that uh, you're using all the little trip tricks that can help with uh, these problems as you go. So you, you're going to watch those in week one. I'll go over where those are in the week one overview. You also have your ebook over here, which there's going to be a video on how to navigate through the ebook, which will tell you not only how to navigate through it, but also how to download a hard copy or uh, print a hard copy or save a hard copy offline. So if you wanted to read it in some other area or some other format, you could do that as well. So I'm going to go back up to Moodle Rooms. Remember that we have this is called Moodle Rooms over here. This is called Connect by McGraw Hill. I'm going to go back over to Moodle Rooms and we're going to scroll down. We got the syllabi, homework grid, and welcome letter. If you open the syllabi, then it will look like this. And at the top of the syllabi, we've got the contact information. Once again, we've got the course overview. It's going to be an introduction to accounting. No prerequisites, so there's no other classes needed before taking this classes. I'll let you go over the learning objectives. 
Remember that the instructional materials include an ebook. So that's the first thing you want to set up. That's a virtual ebook. You want to get it set up as soon as possible and ask me any questions in that process. I'm going to scroll down to the um, assessment criteria. Remember, the assessment criteria is the grouping of how much the weight of each category is. So most of your classes will be similar in that you have discussion forums, you have quizzes, midterms, finals, you have assignments, projects, and you have homework. That will be the breakout. The percentage breakout is going to be 21% for the discussion forums. I want to emphasize this a lot because the discussion forums basically are something you have a lot of control over if you... Uh, just discuss enough if you participate in the discussion you should get this 21 percent even if you have some wrong answers there's no wrong answer in a discussion as long as it's relevant to the discussion and enlightening to other people in order to help them discuss so the strategy i would go after in all of these classes is get a hundred percent of this 21 percent of the grade a hundred percent of the discussion forms that's worth two full grades meaning uh, it could be two full letter grades. 21% could, could take you two full grades up or two full grades down. Make sure to pick those up. Then uh, I would pick up as much of the assignments and the homework as possible in order, of course, to prep for the quizzes, as well as the fact that, once again, you have as much control as possible over these two because you can ask me questions, you can go to tutoring on it. And I know there's a time constraint, obviously, <laughs> and there's a lot of work going on, but... I would try to pick up as much of those as possible in order to one, prepare for the quizzes and two, give yourself as much a cushion on the quizzes as possible because uh, the quizzes, quizzes, of course, you have is the least amount of control over. So they're worth 33% of the grade. That's a significant amount of the grade, but it's not a huge amount of the grade given the fact that we're talking about quizzes, midterm, and final. So you want to do as well as you can on that, prepare as much as you can for that. But once again, you have less control over those so you want to give yourself as big a cushion as possible. If you don't do as well on the quizzes as you hope, then you should be able to pick up your grade a lot by getting full credit on the discussion forums and getting as much close to full credit as possible on the assignments and homework by uh, utilizing both myself, the resources on videos and, and helpful resources like that, as well as tutors like Amanda Edwards. That's how I would approach these classes. So I'm going to go back to the cookie trail over here. Uh, back to Moodle Rooms, I should say. Uh, you can take a look at the homework grid and the welcome letter. We then have the course announcements up top. So if you take a look at the course announcements, this is where I'm going to post anything that's relevant to the class as it comes up. Obviously, I, I post it and it also shoots an email out to you. That's just the way Moodle Rooms is. So you probably got a lot of emails and you're asking, why did I get all these emails? Uh, you know, <laughs> I just tried to post these for the day one of the class. So um, as we go, as we post these, you're going to want to look at these because they could include things like problems with connect or if there's some kind of issue going on you want to go up here and pick it up so what we've given so far is uh log in to connect so how to log in i want to make sure to do that first amanda edwards this is information on how to contact her you really want to take advantage of her if you want additional resources this is one-on-one -on -one tutoring that she can provide which is similar to face-to-face -face time if you use the virtual office setting because you can utilize each other's screens and see each other's screens so take advantage of that uh, you have the videos and audios. If there's any problems with the videos and audios, that we'll go over that. Core accounting concepts, I'm going to include those on every class. We're going to go over the core accounting concepts in this class. We're going to revisit all the core accounting concepts in every other accounting class. Uh, check your work and the answer key. These are two features in Connect. You really want to know when you do the longer problems. Some of the longer problems in Connect can be very intimidating to first look at, but if you realize the resources that are there and available for these longer problems, there's a lot of resources. So even if you don't get full credit on these longer problems, we should be able to pick up a lot of points given uh, these resources in there. So make sure to look at those, ask questions on those. Uh, Study Buddy, if you wanted to uh, link up with anyone else in the class and uh, ask questions and, and have some group study, I'll show you how to do this. will show you how to connect with others within the class and the welcome letter is up here. I'm going to go back up to the cookie trail up top. I'm, I call this the cookie trail. This is basically a mapping of where we are in the class. So currently we are, of course, in the home. We're in the courses. We're in miscellaneous. This is the, actually the course, AC 1110. That's the course we are in. Course overview, that's the overview before week one. And then we're in course announcements. I'm going to go back to the face of the course, which will be this icon here. So now we're back in the face of the course. 
if I scroll down, then we've got the instructor virtual office. That's going to be kind of like um, raising your hand in class. So if you had a question in class that you think everybody would benefit from, you can then post it here and then I can answer it one time and hopefully everybody will get it and I don't have to answer it like 30 times. So this will be a discussion forum where you can answer, ask a question like that, such as, you know, the date's not working or I can't get into this assignment or whatever. I can announce that at one time. Uh, if there's a more personal question that will not benefit everybody else, then, of course, you can email it to me up here or call me on that. The day one introductions, if you go into the day one introductions, then this is a discussion form. You want to answer to this question just like you will in later discussion forms. You're going to reply and answer this question, introduce yourself, uh, share what you hope to gain. Here's my response to the question. So you can uh, take a look at that and put something similar to that in here. Going to go back up to the cookie trail. Remember, this is the cookie trail. So we have the course name and then we're in the introduction. I'm going to go back to the course name and then scroll down and we've done the introduction here. So now the other couple things I want to point out is that if you wanted to talk to someone else in the class, then you can go to the navigation pane. You can go to uh, the participants under current courses, and this will give you all the people that are in your current course. You can sort them by clicking on first name or last name. I know you can't see those too well, but you can sort them in that way. And then you can go down here, and if you click on any of these, then uh, you can send a Moodle message to some of your classmates and discuss any kind of topics that you'd like to discuss with them. Going to go back up to the cookie trail up top. Once again, I'm in participants. Going to go back to the face of the course. Last thing I want to point out is the gradebook. So the gradebook is over here on the left-hand side. I'm going to click on this gradebook. Now, the gradebook will not seem relevant at the beginning of the class because they're only going to be populated basically once a week if they're going to be completely populated within Moodle Rooms. Why? Because most of the work we're doing is in McGraw-Hill. So what you want to do in week one is go through your uh, assignments, basically using Moodle Rooms as an outline of everything you need to do because there are a few assignments that are not in Connect. So you want to use the face of the Moodle Rooms to know exactly what you need to do. And then you want to, the ideas that are in Connect, you want to make sure to go into Connect and say that, make sure that you have completed them. And then Sunday is the end of the week. So every week will end on Sunday. Everything is due on Sunday. So clearly I'm not going to put any zeros in here for work that has not been done until it's past due, which is past Sunday. So for that reason, at the end of each week, I then have until Tuesday to go through all the students and all the courses and populate the grades from uh, Connect to Moodle Rooms. This will be the ultimate grade book. So once a week, basically on Wednesday for you then, you want to go into here and make sure that, for example, everything in week one as of next Wednesday has been populated. So the week one discussion forum, the week one quiz, the week one assignment, and the week one homework. You want to take a look at those. Anything that has not been populated at that time, then you want to consider picking it up for late work, which could be marked down for late work, but you can still do it late. So you can pick up late work on that. So anything that is like a zero or has less than full credit, pick up the late work if at all possible on that. The exception to that rule is generally quizzes where you cannot generally pick up late work unless there's a reason. So uh, that for that reason, you want to make sure that by the end of the week, do the quiz, even if you're not prepared for it, even if you got like a 10% on the quiz, it's better than getting a zero on the quiz. So do the quiz. Some of them are multiple choice questions. Make sure, I mean, to pick up as much as you can on the quizzes. And then uh, if you have to do late work, if you run into a time constraint, then pick up the late work at a later time. Just realize that, of course, you're, you're going to double up the following week if you do that. So that would be the strategy that you want to you want to make sure to get the quizzes in there. You do not want to get zeros in the quizzes. You want to get even a low grade is much better than a zero and then pick up any late work in the following week and ask me any questions if this doesn't look like what you think it should be as of Wednesday in the following week. So that's going to be it uh, for week one. So I hope you have a good week one.